people guys hello guys how are you all good evening everyone good evening guys dear students are you able to hear me am i audible and visible to you all come on quickly reply in the chat box good evening good evening guys good evening good evening very nice all clear so i hope you are able to see me clearly my voice is also clear to you all so we can check the network glitches any problem is not there so we can rectify good evening good evening good evening guys so how are you all guys how are you all kaise hain aap sab log how are you and uh, this is your teacher today you must be remembering the name yesterday we met yesterday night this is dr siddharth sir here and uh, i will be teaching little bit about zoology today that is a branch of biology so i hope everyone had a very fruitful exam you really enjoyed your examinations yes i hope every exam was good you are going to score very good marks so but obvious all the students who are joined here definitely they are about 90 95% above are going to get flying colors flying marks in the 10th standard yes everyone agrees with me but now that is a past now from today onwards from today onwards there will be a new evolution a starting of new evolution today because from now on from this day day 0 today we are going to enter into a whole different scenario of learning a more in depth learning about your biology subject and where we are going to study the two branches very carefully that is botany and zoology now tell me guys there are roughly more than uh, i think uh, 100 members we have joined today and uh, how many of you are planning to become or aspiring to become a doctor come on guys how many of you are going to planning to become a doctor just raise your hands in the chat box yes or thumbs up also will be okay to me yes come on harika supraja just give a thumbs up guys that is enough so i can see how much is the josh so if i ask you how is the josh guys how is the josh to learn and start a new journey to become a doctor for the first stepping stone today we are going to start with our first class of zoology very excited yes you have to be excited you have to be excited the first thing is that your enthusiasm your enthusiasm should be very high your excitation should be very high your curiosity should be very high and here you are not only there to become just a doctor you are also going to learn the subject enjoy the subject because when you start learning when you start enjoying something so in between some failures some difficulties some challenges come we enjoy that right remember when you first started how to ride a bicycle many of you must be knowing how to ride a bicycle but before starting that bicycle you needed that two extra extra tires you need the extra wheels you need to support and so that you can you know then move the cycle you wanted your parent or someone behind you to you know hold you yes so that you not falling but once you started enjoying cycling little bit you fall also but still you get up and enjoy similarly the same enthusiasm and curiosity is required here and this should be going for the next 2 years till you give your exam in fact i say this is the life mantra do whatever you want to do but you should be always excited and curious and one thing is important either you are getting very good marks or very low marks your enthusiasm should not be going down yes or no so nowadays i see that many students get quickly get depressed and sad because they are not enjoying the process we have to enjoy the process forget about the results first enjoy the process as you start enjoying the process of learning understanding writing examination getting sometimes low marks getting sometimes high marks but still i am working on me i am working on myself i am looking at my difficulties 
and I'm looking at my mistakes, I'm learning from my mistakes. That's how you will be successful in cracking this examination. The NEET examination, the NEET undergraduate level examination, which you are going to give to become a doctor, to get into the best of the medical colleges of India. And your priority, first of all, should be AIMS. Yes. And whenever I say AIMS, uh, something happens in my body, like some divine energy is running through me in my veins and blood. Because recently, I went to the AIMS Mangalagiri, which is in Andhra Pradesh, nearby to us in Vijayawada only. Very beautiful campus, superb campus, nice buildings. What beautiful classrooms, yaar. Superb. Imagine sitting there learning with the best of the teachers. So I'm always, today also becoming a doctor, 15 years, passed out doctor, but still thinking about that college, that scenario, that campus gives me goosebumps. Imagine you going there and studying there in such beautiful colleges. So much of learning, enthusiasm and respect we will get because you know very well doctors are treated next to God. Yes, in COVID, you must be knowing so many doctors saved the lives of so many individuals. So doctors are regarded as next to God. Yes, guys. So I hope with this enthusiasm, you will be always listening to the lectures, listening to the class. Always be mentally present. Always be curious. Always be focused. And very important, enjoy the learning process. So today, we are going to have the first class of zoology. Yes. So what is zoology? Zoology is a branch of biology. But what is biology? Can I get some answers in the chat box? Can you type with your quick fingers? Yes. Exams are over. Now, too much of typing, playing games, so your fingers are very fast. So can you type and tell me what is biology, guys? Study of life, Charita, Pujita, study of life. Bio means life. Study of knowledge, wrong answer. Study of animals, wrong answer. Study of life. Studying of life, living organism is biology. So biology word, bio means life. Logy means study. Study of life is biology. But one thing is there, guys. Biology, I understand. It is the favorite subject of all students. Dheeraj is saying, we can't hear you. Dheeraj, I think it's audible. Please check your surrounding or check your mic better. There might be some problem. Majority of everyone is able to hear. Yes, Dheeraj, please sir, disconnect again or have a headphone extra, okay? I think everyone is able to hear me properly. So biology is study of life. Now the problem in bio is that many people enjoy bio, but some people get scared. Some people get little bit scared of bio. You know why? Because the words of biology, the words of biology are Latin and Greek derived. The only problem, yes, Pavan is agreeing with me. Pavan is saying true. Sometimes we get scared of biology because sometimes a word which comes us in front of us and we don't know about it, suddenly we get scared. Exactly. Scientific names. Exactly. Because biology words are derived from dead languages. The languages which are not in use, it is a use, it is from Latin and Greek. We are using Latin and Greek words till the time you know the meaning of Latin or Greek, or you have some idea about it, then only you can figure out the meaning of that word. Second thing, second thing, what I have observed in my last uh, 11 years of teaching career, and if I relate to myself also when I was at your level in 11th and 12th standard or in 9th or 10th standard. Science was favorite subject. Human body is the most fascinating body made by the God. But how it works, that curiosity, learning how it works, it's very interesting. Yes or no? So the problem is that whenever any scientific words, root and Latin derived words in com comes in front of us, we get little scared. What is this? Because biology words are derived from Latin and Greek, which we don't understand. So basically, if I understand some basics word, 
some suffix and prefix like you all want one prefix you all want one prefix which is the prefix you want doctor you want to become doctor and now in my in my mind there is one more question coming what do you mean by doctor what is the word doctor means what is doctor guys doctor who treats people doctor is people who do phd also a person who can do ba ma and become doctorate phd so what is a doctor a person saves life a real life god but what is the word origin of doctor word doctor word is coming from a latin word doc doser the latin word for doctor is a doser and doser means the one who teaches the one who teaches so the real meaning of the word doctor is coming from doser and doser is a latin word and doser means to teach so doctor word itself coming from latin word and the first basic meaning of doctor is to teach is to make give knowledge to the people so indirectly many people ask me sir you became a doctor and you are teaching sir how this is good are you liking this first of all the word doctor meaning itself is coming from dosa and dosa means to teach come on the meaning itself in doctor is to teach and we all here are doctors by profession but a passionate teacher okay so profession is doctor but a passionate teacher so that's why i see very funny you all going to become a doctor but the doctor word itself is coming from dosar and dosar means to teach so one of the job of doctor is to teach that's what i am doing it's my pleasure to teach you all it's my pleasure to see that all of you go into the best of the medical colleges and become the best of the medical doctors and serve the people because that is the main purpose of life to serve other things are secondary respect secondary money it will come respect will come but first thing is the purpose of life purpose of life is to teach purpose of life is to give knowledge purpose of life is to help people so that's what doctor do and i am very happy i am very glad and i am very proud of you all that you have selected such a nice career sir then why aren't all doctors out there teaching come on yaar whenever you go to doctor pavan listen to me very carefully whenever you go to doctor doctor give some medicine doctor will teach you take this medicine in the morning not take empty stomach take with breakfast then in afternoon then in evening seven days course still not okay please come to me sometimes we are having some disease some problem we don't understand doctor teaches us sir this is the problem in your body so till the time doctor doesn't explains or teaches the patient how the patient is going to get the knowledge about what problem is having so how he can manage so always doctors are teaching only yaar come on either teaching patient or either teaching new doctors and i am having the benefit and i am having the proud and i am having the what do you say blessing that i am able to teach you all so that's what it is doctor by profession but a passionate teacher yes or no moving ahead guys moving to the topic so i as i told you the doctor word is coming from doser so many words are coming from latin and greek what i have seen for the last 11 years that students struggle understanding words they ask me a very simple meaning of words in biology they said sir we understood everything whole evolution is understood but sir some words here and there the vocabulary the biology vocabulary the suffix the prefix then the terminologies sir they are so difficult so once you are having hold of suffix prefix the root of biology words that are from latin and greek and terminologies automatically you will feel the confidence automatically you will have the confidence to study that subject and that's how you should go ahead so what is the today's topic guys today's topic is introduction to zoology before the lecture i was thinking what to teach introduction of zoology zoology is such a vast subject yes never ending subject still research is going still studies are going on so i thought let's basically frame a design 
and teach some important things and where you find challenges, where you are going to find challenges and how you are going to work on those challenges. Today I am going to say about that. Okay. So what is today's topic guys? Today's topic is introduction to zoology. And what is zoology? Come on. Zoology is the scientific study of animals because zoo, zoo means animal. Zoo means animal. Logy means study. Study of animal. Scientific study. That is also important. Just not random study. Scientific study with some research, with some data, with some proof to justify it. And that is called as zoology. Yes. In between, try to make some notes. Okay. Kuncham, kuncham, little, little, chinna, chinna notes. You can make it. I know your hands and fingers must be very tired after giving the exams, but still you want them to exercise. Okay. Keep it warm up. So we are going to write something. Okay. So introduction to zoology. So talking about zoology guys, what is zoology? Zoology is the branch of biology. Like botany is also a branch of biology, but that deals with what? That deals with study of plants. Today what we are learning? Today we are looking at zoology. Zoology is a branch of biology. Concerned with what guys? Concerned with study of animals. Concerned with what guys? Come on. Concerned with study of animals. Concerned with study of animals. And not only animals. We are going to also study the animal kingdom. Like little bit you studied about animal kingdom also. In your previous classes of 9th and 10th, you might have studied a little bit. And study of animal is also known as study of animal biology. Anything related to animal you are studying is zoology. Okay. Then what else we study in zoology? Study of zoology includes, what it includes? Interaction of animal kingdom. Interaction of animal kingdom yes you look around you there are animals animals interacting with each other when you look a very beautiful colored scented flower on that a honeybee or a bumblebee or a bird is coming okay and hovering around the flower sucking something taking something what that interaction is, can you tell me? A flower and a honeybee or a bumblebee, where honeybee is hovering over the flower. What is that interaction? What do you feel? Come on. What is that interaction? Tell me in the chat box. Come on, guys. Pollination. Very good. Very good. Pollination. Superb. Pollination. 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 Correct. Now, pollination. Superb. Pollination is a very important thing. But can you tell me guys, can you tell me only the flower is getting benefited by pollination or some insect is also getting some incentive or some benefit out of it. Insect is also getting benefit. Both are getting benefit. And this is called as what guys? This is called as mutualism interaction. This is called as mutualism interaction. So one interaction I told you mutually benefit exactly that is the word. So one interaction I told you just now that is mutualism. So mutualism is an interaction between two different organisms where both are getting benefited, where both are getting benefited. For flower pollination, very important event for sexual reproduction, pollination should happen. And for the insect, getting the nectar, nourishment. Yes or no? Like this, like this, a tiger running behind a deer. What is that interaction? That interaction, what do you call it? Come on, tell me. When a tiger is running behind a deer, come on, tell me. So one react, one interaction you said correctly. This is one interaction mutualism. What is another interaction? It is a part of food chain. Correct. What is the interaction name? Interaction name we will say predation. Tiger running behind the deer is called as what interaction guys? Predation. 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 
टाइगर इज द प्रिडेटर डियर इज द प्रे लाइक दिस देर आर मेनी इंट्रैक्शन देर इज पैरासाइटिज्म देर इज पैरासाइटिज्म लाइक वेन बेडबक्स बाइट्स अस टेक्स अक द ब्लड इन द हेयर समटाइम्स वी गेट लाइस लाइस which sucks the nourishment from your scalp sometime worm infection round worm infection yes ascaris infection what is that interaction is the round worm giving you benefit or round worm is harming you round worm is harming you that interaction tapeworm also very good that interaction where round worm is harming you is parasitism so see guys in the ecosystem in the nature there are many different types of interaction and definitely in future there is a chapter where we will study all the different types of interaction so a lot of interaction is happening in the animal kingdom like right now you are interacting with me right now you are interacting with me and this is mutually benefiting i am very happy i am very proud i am very glad to teach you that gives me happiness and you are also learning something you are also getting benefited mutualism so here also interaction is going on right guys so interaction happening in animal kingdom you will study in zoology in their ecosystem in their ecosystem now what is ecosystem if i ask you what is ecosystem guys see terminologies ecosystem basically ecosystem is interaction between different organism and interaction of organism with environment yes beta are you getting me interaction of organism to organism and interaction of organism to environment like suddenly now the weather is changing now we are slowly moving in fact we are now in summer conditions in the afternoon it is very hot what interaction you will do with the environment as you go out what is the interaction with the environment sunlight high temperature you are sweating what you are doing beta you are sweating so the interaction of you is cooling down the body yes or no automatically when winter comes your interaction changes with the environment what you will do your sweating stops your sweating stops if you remember frog and all frog frog they are waiting for rainy season because frogs are amphibians they require water for reproduction so they will wait for the rainfall to come so that is the interaction of frog with the environment and if summer season is there extreme winter is there frog will go under hibernation frog will not do the reproduction because extreme summer and winter it has to change the interaction so the organism will change the interaction with the environment but at the same time the frog is eaten by the snake snake eating the frog is a predation interaction snake is the predator frog is the prey so what is ecosystem guys come on again ecosystem is interaction of organism to organism and organism to environment am i clear everyone and here someone has put a definition let's check it out an ecosystem is a geographic area where the plant animals and other organism as well as the weather and landscape work together to form the bubble of life no doubt it is also a correct definition so see definitions are many different ways the definition which i gave you is the most acceptable definition from your 11th and 12th perspective this definition is also correct the student who has mentioned yes sir can you repeat the definition again i can again tell the definition you can write down ecosystem is the interaction between organism and organism organism and organism between two different organisms you can write ecosystem is interaction between two different organisms and interaction of organism with its environment so whatever you see in your surrounding in water you go you see the aquatic ecosystem in water you see aquatic ecosystem on land you see terrestrial ecosystem yes or no these are the two basic type of ecosystem aquatic and terrestrial 
Am I clear everyone? What else we study in zoology? In zoology we also study classification. Yes or no? Like in animal kingdom, we classify the animals with respect to the taxonomical hierarchy. Phylum, class, family, order and all that things you classify now. So that is what? That is classification. Then you also study the habits of organism. You study their structure, you study their morphology, you study the internal structure. When you study external structure, morphology. When you study internal structure, anatomy. You also study how they develop. Like in your 12th standard, you will be having the development of the human embryo. Some basics about the embryo development is given. In your plant also, you will study embryology, study or development of the embryo, which will become the new plant. So study of embryo of the animal is called as embryology. How they are distributed? Their distribution. If I say in Andhra Pradesh, will I get snow leopard here? Can I get snow leopard here? Is it distributed here? No, sir. It is not the favorable conditions present here. The favorable conditions are not there here. Snow leopard will be in a colder area, sir. Here you may get the normal. Yes, the habitat is not here. So Dakshayani has given the correct answer. The habitat is not there. So the distribution will change. Ah, if they are taken also, they will die. Correct, Dheeraj. Or else you have to keep them in AC. You have to on the air conditioner. And you have to always keep them in that only. Next. In zoology, we also study evolution. In zoology, we also study evolution. Come on, guys. The diversity of life. What is diversity of life? What is diversity in organism? The different life forms what you see nearby you is the diversity. Tell me how many type of ants do you know? Tell me a simple answer. How many type of ants do you know? Tell me. Talking about diversity, two types. I also know two types. Na? So red ant and black ant. Red ant are bad, they will uh, bit us. It will cause pain and irritation and itching. Sir, black is glued. Huh? Black is good, never kill the black ones. They are very good, sir. They are very nice. Yes, give them some sugar. They don't harm us. White ants, very nice. Bullet ants, very nice. But you know, in reality, there are 20,000 species of ants. How many species of ants? 20,000 species of ants. 20,000 species of ants. Have you seen a beetle, guys? Beetle, beetle, beetle. Beetle, dekha hai kabhi? Beetle, beetle, insect. B e e t l e, beetle. Kaun se color ka beetle dekha hai? Which color beetle you have seen? You might have seen a red color beetle. Yes or no? Red color beetle. And other which beetle? Other beetle you know? Black beetle, orange beetle, green beetle. <laughs> there are 3 lakh species of beetle discovered. Ah, dung beetle is also there. Correct. Three lakh species of beetles only. 20,000 ants only. 28,000 fishes. So do you think this diversity, different form of lives, species, different species, within species, different varieties. Like one mango has 1,000 variety. Like in your Andhra Pradesh, uh, I know that mango variety. Konsa bolta? Bagana pelli. Bangana pelli bolte aap log. Okay, don't mind my pronunciation. Bangana pelli mango. In our uh, Maharashtra, we used to eat the Ratnagiri Alfonso mangoes. But in mangoes also, there is 1000 variety. How this diversity, variety came onto earth? Thanks to which process? Thanks to evolution. Evolution has occurred for the last millions and billions of years. And millions of years, the environment went on changing. Species went on evolving. Species changed occurred. And new species kept on adding. Do you think evolution is going to stop? Evolution is going to stop? No. Evolution is not going to stop. This species will be kept on adding. So thanks to evolution, new species went on adding. That's how the biodiversity increased. But sadly, do you get dinosaur outside now? Do you get dinosaur outside now? Because dinosaurs, they are extinct. Yes. So as the environment changed, 
You must be knowing what is the age of earth. What is the age of earth? Come on. What is the age of earth? How much old age of earth is? Earth kitna old hai? Earth is not 1.6 billion. Earth is roughly 4 billion years old. Earth is roughly how much? 4 billion years old. You know how much zero in billion? Yes, Rizwana, you are correct. You know how much zero in billion? Come on, come on, guys. How much zero in billion? Yes, correct. So imagine, imagine so much billion years old your earth is. We, we hardly live 60 year, 70 year, 80 year maximum. Yes or no? Our life is how much? So are we there to see evolution? Will evolution happen in a very short span of life of us? 70, 80 years? No. But we have done a lot of studies. We got fossils. We got evidence. We did radioactive carbon dating through which we got to know different time scale period has different organisms and that's how the evolution has occurred. Yes or no? Yes, everyone? So evolution is a slow and a gradual continuous process. Slow, gradual, continuous. It is a non-stop process. And in between new species are getting added. The ones which are not adapted, they will get extinct. They will get not selected. And in this evolution, in this zoology, you will also study natural selection. What you will study? Natural selection given by Charles Darwin, the most accepted theory of evolution. So automatically in zoology also you will study evolution. And what has happened in evolution? Evolution leads to change in diversity, addition in diversity, in addition in diversity of organisms, not only plants, but also animals. And it is a non-stop continuous process, thanks to mutations and variations also. And that's why in natural selection, we say that it is not the smartest, it is not the strongest will survive. What we say in natural selection, it is not the strongest or not the smartest or not the intelligent will survive. The one who will survive is the one who has the best adaptation in the given environmental condition. So it is not about being smart. It's not about being strong. It's about adaptation. So you also have to understand according to the neat examination, you have to adapt. You don't have to become too strong. You don't have to become too intelligent. You have to be just smart. The word is street smart. You have to rightly adapt yourself for the exam. So that is the word adaptability. We have to adapt. And adaptation is the key for selection. So if you want selection, we need to adapt. Yes. And then in this, we also study the extinct species. Yes, guys. So see, in zoology, we are going to study the interaction of animal kingdom. We are going to study classification. We are going to study structure of organism, morphology, anatomy, embryology, how the embryo develops, distribution of organisms, evolution, and which are the extinct species. Not only that, it doesn't stop here. Zoology is also the division that deals with animal kingdom. It is the scientific study related to the entire species of animal kingdom. Yes or no? And this is the very large chapter, animal kingdom in your 11th standard NCRT. A very important chapter for your NEET exam. At least 4 to 5 MCQs. 4 to 5 multiple choice questions are coming from this chapter. So such an important topic, animal kingdom. Where you are going to study the phylums. The different phylums, you might have studied a little bit about them. Come on, phylum porifera, phylum cylindrata, also known as nidaria, tenophora, platyalmanthus, flatworms, ascalmanthus, annelida, arthropoda, nematoda, correct, mollusca. Like this, you might have studied, some of you might have this animal kingdom. And we are going to study in detail, going to fetch you five questions. 
मिनिमम फोर 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 जा हाउ मच गाइस फोर फोर जा सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर अ वेरी क्रिटिकल चैप्टर एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सुपर दिस विल आल्सो स्टडी इन जुअलॉजी नेक्स्ट who described the animal so when we are teach when we are learning zoology how we can forget our father 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 of zoology who is father of zoology okay father of zoology who is this gentleman who is this gentleman this gentleman is the father of zoology father of zoology is aristotle aristotle was the greek philosopher yes aristotle Greek people, they were the first. And Aristotle was the first one to describe zoology. The term biology was given by Lamarck. Term biology was given by Lamarck. Okay, but father of zoology is our Aristotle. Aristotle was the first person to broadly classify the living thing in fourth century. in the before christ yes or no he divided firstly living thing into animals and plants and then he continued with his further classification later after this the words like biology botany zoology came into existence so he was the first one to study zoology and we will look at the basic classification what classification did what classification did Aristotle give. We will see the basic classification of Aristotle. So I hope you have written down what you have written down. You must write down one simple point: father of zoology. Father of zoology. Don't write my name. Father of zoology is Aristotle. Yes, father of zoology is Aristotle. Thanks to him, we are studying today. Next, and what classification he gave, guys? This is the classification he gave. Come on. He basically, basically Aristotle classified the animals based on red blood cells. Based on red blood cell, animals who have red blood cell, their blood will be red, and that he called as inaima. What he called as inaima. Animals who have red blood cell, he called it as inaima, and who are not having red blood cell, he called them as what? He called them as inaima. Yes. Yes or no? Yes, Anjali. He also talked about classification. Yes, yes. See this. So Aristotle divided animals into two classes: one with red blood, and another with not without the red blood, such as insect and crustacean. Insect, crustacean. When you kill a cockroach, does any red blood comes out? No. So they are what? They are anaima. He further classified creatures who can walk. flow fly or swim so this is the basic classification guys okay this is the basic classification living organisms classified basically into two groups basically into how many groups guys two groups first plants second animals in animal based on red blood cell based on rbc based on red blood cell animal having red blood cell inaima animal not having anaima without red blood cell and the animals this was on the basis of rbc and this was on the basis of locomotion this was basis of locomotion terrestrial walking flying birds aquatic swimming and in botany in botany you may learn that plants are also classified into herbs shrubs and trees yes or no everyone that you will study in botany part yes everyone sir why you choose blood to blood cell to classify come on nice question smk why you choose that because that was the only basis because at that time there were no such equipments or devices to study or classify them basically so some insects were insects crustaceans when they killed no red blood came out and another animals like mammals reptiles birds when they killed it was very clearly visible that their blood is red in color that's why very simple whatever green aristotle whatever green is he put in plants whatever non green animal 
So that was also there. So very basic classification. But obvious, today we are not following it. Today we are not following this. Today I have much more advanced classifications. Yes or no? Like recently, you might have studied in your 10th standard. What is the five kingdom classification, guys? Now you follow which classification? Now recently you might have studied five kingdom classification. Yes or no? Did you study five kingdom classification? Today we follow that. Given by R.H. Whittaker. Given by whom? Given by R.H. Whittaker. And he classified the all organisms into five different kingdoms. Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. Exactly. That is the classification we follow. Anaima, Anaima beta ye insect yaar. Anaima me insect dal de na, insects. Insects, cockroach, housefly, honeybee, ye sab Anaima me jayenge. Okay? Jinka bhi khun lal nahi hai. Whoever are not having red blood, they are coming under Anaima. Yes? But you should be knowing how it started. How it started, we should be knowing. But by the way, when I told you, Today we are learning what? Today we are learning. Today we are learning this one. See, the classification of Aristotle was followed until 16th century. In 16th century it was removed. The age of enlightenment, new scientists came. They researched more closely. And then zoology became much more complex. The living things were divided into five kingdoms. Achha, tell me something. Before five kingdom, you know, three kingdoms were there. Before three kingdom, two kingdom was there. Linnaeus. Linnaeus gave first two kingdom, plant and animals. Then three kingdom came. Hans Teckel added one more kingdom, Protista. Yes. And then further, two more kingdoms were added, Monera and Fungi. Then it became five kingdom. So first it was two kingdom, then three kingdom, and then five kingdom. So what you are learning is five kingdom classification. That was given by R.H. Whittaker. So now the zoology has become much more complex. It is divided into five kingdoms. In which the animal kingdom themselves divided into smaller categories. Yes or no? We study the animals divided into smaller category. Smaller classification group. That is phylum, class, order, family, genus and finally species. Yes or no? Evolution has been deleted for us in CBSE. No beta. Evolution is there. Yes. Here is our answer. So who gave the five kingdom classification guys? Come on. Who gave the five kingdom classification? Five kingdom classification. Which you are going to study. Which you are going to study in 11th standard. In biological classification chapter you are going to study the five kingdom classification. Given by whom guys? Given by your R.H. Whitaker. So, this is the person, Robert Harding Whitaker, in the year 1969. In the year 1969, he gave the five kingdom classification on many bases. Supraja. Supraja. Your question is very good on what basis he classified. First of all, he classified on the basis of unicellular prokaryote. Either it is prokaryote or either it is eukaryote. We know that Monera, Monera all prokaryotes. We know that Monera are all prokaryotes. Yes or no, beta? Monera are all prokaryotes. Remaining all are what? Remaining all protista, plantae, animalia, fungi. All are what here? All are? All are what guys? All are eukaryotes. True nucleus is present. Cell organelle is present. Well-defined nucleus is present. Yes or no? They all are eukaryotic. Protista, plant, animalia, fungi, all are eukaryotic. But again, protista is a unicellular eukaryotic. Rest all are multicellular eukaryotic. And then the multicellular eukaryotic is classified on the basis of nourishment also. On the basis of nourishment, plants can synthesize their own food, autotrophic. Animals are dependent on outside, heterotrophic. Fungi are also heterotrophic, but they are feeding on dead and decaying matter, mostly saprophytes. So there are many bases of this classification. But this was the 
most accepted five kingdom classification given. So we have came a very long way. And more surprisingly, guys, when you come in 11th standard, when you study the chapter biological classification, there we will study one more classification. Because we know that above this five kingdom is nothing. Yes or no? These all five are kingdoms. Nutrition is also there, Pawan. Nutrition is also there. That we will study. That we will study when we study biological classification. Right now, I am just telling you the five kingdom classification. This is the most accepted. Okay. So you want me to zoom the screen. So I will just save this and I will stretch it out. So you can see a little bit information, whatever is given. Okay. That is the maximum guys. Don't worry. I will share the PDF of the class also with you so that any of you have missed out. Okay. You can copy down. Okay. So this RH Whittaker Five Kingdom classification, we are going to study in more detail in biological classification chapter. But one more thing, we are saying five kingdoms till now. We are saying five kingdoms till now. There is one more scientist whose name is Carl Woos. Carl Woos in 1990 something, he studied rRNA. He studied the ribosomal RNA of different organisms. And he told that there are not five kingdoms. There are total six kingdoms. He said that there is a six kingdom classification and above kingdom, there are three domains in which it is classified. Some of you might have studied that six kingdom classification where we have three domains. Yes or no? In the three domains, what do we have guys? Come on. What do we have? Archaea, bacteria and eukarya. Yes or no? Next, what we will study is the six kingdom classification. Which kingdom classification, guys? The six kingdom classification. Six kingdom classification. This you will just go through in your biological classification in 11th standard. So, Carl Woos, Carl Woos basically studied, studied what, guys? He studied RRNA of all the organisms. And he classified the organism into three domains. How many domains he said? There are total three domains. What are the three domains? Archaea, bacteria, that is eubacteria I will say. And then we have eukarya. Yes, in archaea, we have the archaea The very old primitive bacteria like methanogens. Like what? Methanogen, methanogen, thermophilus. These are very old bacteria. In bacteria, we have eubacteria kingdom. Which kingdom? Eubacteria kingdom. So, archaebacteria is one kingdom. Eubacteria is second kingdom. First kingdom, archaebacteria. Second kingdom, eubacteria. And eukarya, we have four kingdoms. How many kingdoms we have here, guys? Four kingdoms. Can you tell me what are the four kingdoms here? Can you tell me guys, come on, Protista, Plantae, Animalia, and lastly, Fungi. Lastly, what guys? Fungi. So total, if you see, total six kingdoms. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So now the most accepted classification today is the six kingdom. These three are domains. These three are domain. Am I clear? But still, for study purpose, at the little lower level, we are following the five kingdom classification. But we have given this. We have given this. Mr. Carl Woos have given this in 1990 only. Okay? So this classification also you will study in the biological classification chapter. Again, going back to our topics. Yes? So this was the classification given, going little back and studying what else we study. The study of zoology also includes animal physiology, my favorite. I don't know about you. Is your animal physiology favorite? Yes. Sir, mammals come under which kingdom? Mammal comes under animal kingdom, beta. Supraja, mammals are animals. That will come under animal kingdom. Come on guys. 
स्टडी ऑफ जूलॉजी ऑल्सो इंक्लूड एनिमल फिजियोलॉजी वॉट इज फिजियोलॉजी कमान गाइस टेल मी वॉट इज फिजियोलॉजी वॉट इज फिजियोलॉजी कमान गाइस वॉट डू मीन बाय फिजियोलॉजी टू वर्ड्स लॉजी मीन्स स्टडी लॉजी मीन्स स्टडी सो वॉट इज फिजियो फिजियो इज come on good guesses good guesses i am so so happy that everyone is just typing फटाफट 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 someone are checking on google also and putting answers very fast study of body functions study of body functions study of body function is called as animal physiology so you have different different functioning system in your body you have circulatory system you have respiratory system you have nervous system you have digestive system you have excretory system to filter the blood reproductive system to produce the gametes yes so many system are working how they are working like suddenly when you start and run and when you start running your muscle need more oxygen your muscle needs more blood suddenly your heart rate will also increase blood pressure will also increase your breathing rate also increases but as soon as you sit everything goes back to normal how it is that possible how quickly when you sit your heart rate your breathing rate again goes to resting condition and whenever it is needed it accelerates yes so that understanding is physiology how you are eating different things yes you are eating proteins you are eating carbohydrates you are digesting them also but some waste is generated by liver liver generates the waste urea urea goes in the blood urea is very harmful for your body so your kidney removes them and puts into the urine so some water some salts and some nitrogenous waste you remove that is excretion excretory function for that you study the excretory system a pair of kidneys ureter urinary bladder and most important how is urine formed urine is formed by blood filtration but how exactly what are the three different steps how does the ultra filtration occurs yes how does the reabsorption occurs how you do tubular secretion how you are able to filter out the waste am i clear that studying whole mechanism sometimes you go in the kitchen and you don't know if the pan is very hot or not you suddenly touch and then you get a quick Ref, you, you get a quick impulse quick impulse nerve impulse travels from sensory neurons to your brain and brain tells you come on take your hands back very fast or you will get burned yes correct reflex action how reflex action happens how sensory neuron how sensory neuron how sensory neurons are helping us how receptors are present how receptor send signal to sensory nerve how it goes to the spinal cord how in spinal cord interneuron will analyze okay this stimulus is very high take your hand back how to take back hand back by muscle contraction motor nerves so it is the quick action quick coordination of sensory and motor neuron and that you will study in reflex arc sir rrna is that you mentioned in different so beta you have studied rna is ribonucleic acid ribonucleic acid has one more type that is rrna in your 11th and 12th you will study there are three basic types of rna mrna rrna and rrna okay so that mechanism you will study yes so so many different physiology how the heart is working how the heart works you know the just four basic chambers but how it is contracting how it is pumping the blood how heart works on its own how when you take the heart out of a person and keep it for some time outside still the heart is beating still the heart is beating outside also when you keep it because our heart can generate its own impulses because our heart is myogenic we have a pacemaker what we have guys we have a pacemaker how the pacemaker works why in some people pacemaker is faulty so we apply some nickel cadmium battery and some wire to it so that it maintains the heart rate again that all understanding is physiology because once you have understood how your system work in your body how the different organ system work you will understand if there is some problem or not how you will understand your heart is working properly or not if a patient comes to you and you want to check his circulatory system is doing okay how you will check sir i will check pulse if the pulse is under 100 it is normal 
Sir, I may check the blood pressure using the Spigma manometer. It should be 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury. Sir, it is normal. Sir, if I want to study more, I will take an ECG, an electrocardiogram. I will check that graph if the heart is okay or not. Are, but for that, we should know the basic physiology. We should know the basic physiology. That's what we are going to study. Exactly. Normal heartbeat is 72 bits per second. Yes, Sadhvi. Evolution we are going to study in every possible detail manner. So you be chilled. Evolution, a very big, nice, interesting, full of curios curiosity chapter in 12th standard we have. And from evolution also, two to three questions always expected in the NEET exam. Yes? So animal physiology we are going to study, their behavior we are going to study, how they interact we are going to study, ecosystem we are going to study. I already told you guys all these things. Yes? And after this, see what is taxonomy? In classification, one word comes, that is taxonomy. Sir, what is behavior of animals? Come on, beta. Frog in winter season and rainy and summer season, it hides. Because frog is a cold-blooded animal. It cannot generate body heat. It cannot maintain the body heat. It cannot maintain the homeostasis or balance. So frog will hide. Protect, save the energy. Hibernation. Yes or no, beta? Some animals, they beautifully hide in the environment. They do camouflage. They hide in the surrounding environment. So they are not easily detected. Camouflage. This is behavior of organisms. Yes? Am I clear, beta? Like when we go to Leh and Ladakh, when we go to Leh and Ladakh, very high, at the very high altitude, oxygen is very less there. In the high mountain area, the oxygen is very less, the air is very thin, it is not dense. What happens to you? Suddenly, we feel little dizziness. Okay, we feel little chakkar aara hai, lag hai, little drowsy. Plus, heartbeat increases, nose bleeds, yes. Ha, huh? excess breathing, exactly. What is this? This is animal behavior. You are not adapted to living in high mountain altitudes. Suddenly at high mountain altitude, your body suffers from hypoxia, low oxygen. Hypoxia, low oxygen. To balance it, your heart rate increases, your breathing rate increases, blockage of ears. Yes, exactly right. So that will happen. That is our animal behavior. So many animal behavior. Why do animal behave like this? Animal behave to adjust, to adapt, to survive. Yes or no? That is important. Coming to the next terminology. Coming to next terminology. Classification when you do. Any classification you do, it is based on similarities and dissimilarities. It is based on similarities and dissimilarities. Yes or no? Like mammals, whale, bats, Human, fox, tiger, leopard, dog, cat, all are placed in mammals. Why? Tell me one reason why they are all in mammal class. You tell me. There is one reason. Why all are present in mammal? Why in mammalia? The word mammal means what? The word mammal means mammary glands. They are able to produce milk. So all this animal who are able to produce milk, they are placed under mammals. That is the main classification. That's how the word mammal word comes. So if you know any organism having mammary gland able to secrete milk will be placed under the class mammalia of phylum chordata. Now what is chordata, sir? You are saying chordata. Chordata is an animal which has notochord. At least notochord is present, the main feature. Sir, where is the notochord present? Notochord is present in the back. Sir, do we have notochord right now? No. We are now adults. In adults, the notochord in mammals is replaced by developed into vertebral column backbone. So all this terminology, if you know, our understanding becomes very basic. So what is taxonomy, guys? We are classifying organism based on their similarity and dissimilarity. And classifying organism is coming from the word taxonomy. Come on, see this. This taxonomy word is coming from Greek word. Which Greek word it is coming from? It is coming from the ancient Greek word taxis. 
I am not able to read this. I am not a Greek fellow. So, taxis. Taxis means arrangement. And nomi. Nomi. Nomi means nomia. Nomi means nomenclature. You are classifying and you are arranging it into similar group of animals or organism and you are giving it a name. You are giving nomenclature. So, arrangement along with naming is called as taxonomy. If you read this, is the scientific study of naming, defining, circumscribing and classifying the group of biological organism based on shared characteristics. Like here you have an organism, the fox, the red fox, vulpus, vulpus is the scientific name. Species, vulpus, genus, vulpus, family, canidae, order, carnivora, class, mammalia, phylum, chordata, kingdom, animalia, domain, eukarya. So see this? We have classified the organism into respective taxonomic group. Am I clear everyone? So taxonomy is a very important word. So if in future you become a taxonomist, what is the role of taxonomist? Like I say sir, gastrologist. Sir, gastrologist is the one who deals with stomach problems and all in GI problems doctor. Gastrologist. Neurologist who deals with problem with Nervous system doctor. Yes or no? And who is a taxonomist who deals with taxonomy? Naming and classifying and giving scientific name. Yes or no guys? Don't worry. I will share you a PDF on all the terminologies. Because the terminologies are so much. I can go on and on and on and on and on. Yes? Scientific nomenclature. See what is physiology? I have given the definition, the definition of physiology also here. Physiology is also coming from the ancient Greek word fusis. Fusis means nature or origin and logy means to study. How something is functioning? It is a scientific study of function and mechanism of living system. It is a sub-discipline of biology. It is a branch of biology. In physiology, the focus is on how organism and organ system, organ cells and biomolecules carry out chemical and physical function. Physiology is related to medical physiology, animal physiology, plant physiology, how plants are doing photosynthesis and respiration, that is plant physiology, how you are digestion, how you are excreting, how your nervous system is coordinating, how your hormonal system is working, that is animal physiology, how a particular medicine works on your body, as soon as you take a painkiller, how the painkiller works, how the painkiller acts on a particular physiology and stops your pain, that is medical physiology. Similarly, when we compare it to animal's physiology, is comparative physiology. And physiology is the most beautiful and fascinating thing. Yes? So physiology is basically study of function where you are going to study digestive system. Unfortunately, digestive system is removed from the NEET exam. From NEET exam, digestive system is removed. But don't worry, we will study a little bit. Muscular system, lymphatic system, endocrine system, nervous system, skeletal system, reproductive system, respiratory, excretory, circulatory. We will cover all the systems. We will cover all the systems in physiology in our zoology subject. We are going to study all the subjects. Yes or no? Am I clear? Is it clear guys? Moving ahead. So basically when I talk about animal physiology, how the organs function, how particular function occurs. So can I say this is like how the heart works? Can I say this is the heart functioning? Is this how the heart functions guys? Come on. By the way, many people draw heart like this. Do you think heart is like this? Do you think heart is like this? What is the heart doing? Heart is doing pumping function now guys. Heart is doing pumping function. Is the heart work like this? No. Then how the heart works? Do you want to see? This is not the heart works. This is how the heart works. Here you can see when we go inside of the heart, and we look inside of the heart, here you can see the heart ventricle walls are contracting and pumping the blood into the respective blood vessels. Yes or no? So we will learn the chambers 
the right atrium, left atrium, the right ventricle, left ventricle. See how these flaps are closing. See, this is the tricuspid valve, bicuspid valve. This is the semilunar valve of the aorta. How they are opening, how they are closing. When tricuspid valve opens, when semilunar valve closes, all these things we are going to understand in the circulatory system physiology. Similarly, heart makes sound also using a stethoscope. We can hear the heart sound. Yes, what is the heart sound? Is it like dhak dhak karne laga, like that song? <laughs> like that you will hear? No. You will hear the heart sound like lub dub. Lub dub. So we will study how lub and dub sound is created. Due to closure of which valves lub and dub sound is created. Yes, and heart sounds are very important. If a person is sitting next to you and you are hearing the heart sound, and if you are hearing some murmuring sounds, some leakage sound, means there is some problem with the heart valves, means the function of the heart valve is not good. Heart valve functioning is not happening properly. So we might have to do more intervention. Yes or no? Yes, guys. So we will study this in physiology. And I think for today's class, this much is enough. I will stop because zoology, I can go on and on and on and on and on. Yes, beta? Lub is due to the closure of AV valves, bicuspid and tricuspid. Sheikh Rizwana, you are right. Yes or no? And dub sound is due to the closure of semilunar valves of the aorta and pulmonary artery. Some students are knowing it. Some students are not knowing it, guys. See, this is all in the gift classes. We are trying to boost. We are trying to build your basics. Okay? So some things I will teach very simplifying way. Some teach I will talk in complex way. Because all the students here, some have studied too much, some have studied little less. So everyone is at not the same level. So I'm trying to do my best to give, give you the best thing possible, okay? To make the subject more interesting. This is all the basics we are going to do. And one more thing, uh, I will like to say that uh, I'm going to share a small PDF with you. I'm going to share a small PDF with you that contains, that contains all the prefix and suffix through which you can learn the different meaning of the words. Like this. Are you able to read guys? Come on. Are you able to read? Come on guys. Are you able to read? So, whenever the word part A dash and non, whenever the biology word is with A, and or non, what is the meaning? It is without. Like example, anaerobic. What is anaerobic without the presence of oxygen? Aerobic is oxygen presence. Anaerobic is without it. Yes or no? Non-renewable. Like petrol, diesel, what we are using. Can it be renewed again? No. It is a non-renewable resource. Yes or no? Similarly, ab, if is away word. Efferent neuron. Efferent neuron is taking the impulse away from the central ner nervous system. Afferent is taking towards the central nervous system. So sensory neuron is also called as afferent. See the next word. Add or F towards. Afferent neuron. Pay the attention but afferent. Afferent means going towards the central nervous system. Sensory neuron. Like addy or lip. Addy or lip word. That is the prefix. Adipose tissue. Lipid, yes or no, lipase, an enzyme which will break the fats, yes or no. So like this, if you understand the different prefix and suffix, you can grasp all the word meanings. So slowly, slowly we will build up. Not on one day you will learn all the terminologies and the prefix and suffix and the root words. Slowly, slowly you will learn and slowly, slowly you will remember. And as soon as this words keeps on coming in front in the biology textbook, you will grasp more thing. Okay, so guys, what I will do? I will share this on the group. You go through it. You learn it. In the next class, we will start from this terminologies. I will discuss some terminologies. Again, we will see something basics of zoology. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the class, guys. Yes. Yeah, beta, I will ask uh, to the respective admins to do it. So I hope you like the lecture, guys. See you soon. Whatever we have revised, be prepared. I will be asking some questions. Today, whatever in the class happened, I will ask some basic questions 
to see how much attention you have paid and see you soon guys thank you so much take care bye guys chalo bye bye guys take care thank you bye guys bye 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 bye